You're too fast. I can't even click on you. Where are you going? Come back. Dude, dude. Hello there you guys, it's Miss Charlotte and welcome back to another video on this channel. Today we are back with another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise series and we are here in our Maasai Zoo and I am so ready to get started with this. So last time what we did is we had two small habitats here and we decided to merge one to create a larger habitat for our African wild dogs and we actually created a brand new really really large habitat over here for our gazelles and our spring box. Did I get that right? Did I actually get the animals right the first time? I think I did, right? Yeah, I did. Oh my god. I'm so proud of myself. And yeah, so we kind of focused a lot on the gazelle springbok habitat last time. So today I definitely wanted to focus on the African wild dog habitat. As you can see, it's still kind of all in the same place. So I don't really move much. So we're going to do that today. Also, in general, I've just been looking at our zoo and I just want to make sure it looks a little bit better. But I was having a little look off camera and I was thinking about changing these to make them look a little bit better. But we are very limited on materials because we haven't done a lot of research in terms of different decorational themes and I've been having a look at what we want to do and these are like pre-made ones from an Africa themed decorational thing and I think I kind of want this to be the theme of most of our buildings so these so what we are going to have to do is get some research done in terms of mechanical research so we would want to research the Africa theme so at the moment we're doing staff facilities and barriers which I think we'll continue doing because we did want to get a one-way glass I think and our staff facilities like the bigger the better in terms of like large keeper huts which means we can place one of those rather than like two or three of the smaller ones and so we'll keep that on and next time mechanical research is completed we will switch over to the African theme. I think our profit is doing all right let's have a look at our finances real quick. We're making a fair amount of profit which is great. In general the staff happiness is incredible, the welfare is pretty good, the guest happiness is going up but definitely needs improving. Oh wait we've just done some mechanical research that's perfect right we'll switch that over in a second. Litter is a really bad problem that we have to tackle first as well and then education has to go up in general if we go ahead and look at our heat map actually and we look at our education as you can see there's definitely a lot more we can do a lot more educational speakers and things and also we need to sort the power out over here and there's just loads there's loads i want to do in today's episode so we're gonna try and do our best and let's start with the litter problem maybe actually wait mechanical research first okay so that's done we've got a little bit on both which is amazing so i think barriers is still our priority so we'll get florentino to stop doing that and we'll get florentino on the african theme instead okay so bin problem it's a big problem as you can see so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a lot more bins up in here and hopefully that means people will stop littering all over the place because litter is not a pretty look so we'll just put a few down we actually yeah we don't have a lot of bins to be honest so this is probably gonna help a little bit we do probably want a lot near the guest facilities because that makes sense that's kind of where they're going to be using most of the bins so we'll also get more of these general use bins as well well and then in general maybe we can make sure that the caretakers are just on it a little bit more that would probably help a little bit too we also probably could get a few benches in here like a few more of those because you know walking around a zoo you probably get tired also i just realized around the whole back of this habitat we have nothing so we definitely can get some bins and benches and things but in terms of like educational speakers signs they all can go back here as well so these are our lemurs so let's get some of those in there as well so as you can see some educational speakers i think the power should be fine over here but we shall have to see i guess and then we put it on the red rough lemurs and we can put it at max red rough lemur max it out and then we can move it so it's in the power zone still no there's no power okay we definitely need to fix our power problem okay electricity aha we've got a massive gap here actually that's probably what the problem is so what we can do is we can get a nice old staff pass running around the back here and then we can run some more power Power. I'm gonna do my weird curved wiggly path. As much as this looks weird and you can't really fit a long habitat in here, we can probably fill it up with some more guest facilities and also some staff facilities as well. And then we can, in the long run, have some habitats running around this side of it. So this might be a really good kind of midsection. So I think this might be a very, very good thing. And then it could just connect up there. And then we will make a water treatment one as well, just because it's better if I preempt that we're gonna need water treatment over here 
here i think and then we put one here that should be fine brilliant cool that's definitely gonna help a lot and let's have a look at our education map nice that is looking cool i'm gonna get a few more of these maybe one more actually and then uh, let's get one of our signs as well so we want these habitat education boards and we can put one here maybe and then donation boxes and then that should be this area kind of all cleaned up which is great right is there any more educational speakers we can put probably put another one of these here let's do it another cheeky one we're just blowing all of our money on educational speakers but education is pretty important so i'm not even mad about it and then obviously we don't want to overlap with anything else so this one i think i'm going to move over here although that is not powered oh god this power situation is really the worst isn't it so we need another power thing over here which is fine because we can extend this staff path we can do that that's fine we are finding solutions everything is all a-okay and then we turn on our power thing and we see where we want to put it probably here would be a good idea yeah there we go okay cool so then that should enable that to work and then we can get some more over here so we've got a spring book speaker here we have a gazelle speaker over there and then this is another spring book i think so we do need another gazelle and it can go around the back probably when we have a path around here should we do that now yeah why not let's do it get our normal path and we'll put it around here get it as close as possible and then this can just wrap around the whole entire habitat and then it's kind of prepped for when we want to build another one next door i'm not really sure about the whole entire shape of this zoo in general i've been kind of looking at it from above and just thinking like what is this even gonna look like like i feel like it's gonna look like, like a massive jigsaw puzzle um but i don't know we'll have to see beautiful that is looking a lot better okay and then obviously we're gonna need to do loads of benches down here and all the same stuff so i'm just gonna do that and i will be right back okay so i am back and i have done a little bit of a renovation around the sides of the paths so as you can see here there's a lot of benches there's bins there's educational speakers there's donation boxes there are signs now and i have extended this weird stop path which i promise will be filled up eventually this is kind of like really good prep and like a layout for the future of the zoo but that has allowed me to get some more power and as you can see our power situation is looking a lot better and then as you can see here our education is a lot better as well it's more frequent and hopefully that will help we're going to do the same with the african wild dog habitat but i thought we'd do that together since we have not yet edited the habitat but we will be doing that next we have actually managed to do something apparently we have at least 750 guests in the zoo so that's pretty cool we have some other things like the education increasing for the spring box and hopefully placing down those educational speakers and the signs will help with that so that's really good we do have things like this like this needs a repair apparently but that's fine we can get that all done and repaired we've had some vet research complete which is brilliant so our puff adders have some research done which is good let's check in on them actually i feel like sometimes we might neglect our exhibit species so let's have a look is there any stuff we can give you yes we can give you a bit more camouflage hopefully you like that you guys doing all right oh nice you've got all your research done actually cool that's very good oh my goodness a lot of our water treatment is failing maybe we we're moving them around a lot should we get another mechanic i think we need to get another mechanic <laughs> not gonna lie we spent a lot of our money but we're making enough so it's good but let us get another mechanic and in general we probably need some more caretakers we only have two we also need to change our work zones a little bit i think which is maybe why those aren't being fixed we've got four keepers that's fine four mechanics got two security guards and then i think we've got enough vendors maybe we can get one more vet that probably be helpful okay let's edit our work zones a little bit so this is our first work zone it only has one habitat in it but that is fine maybe we can put the exhibits we'll take that out of work zone two but everything in green which should be these as well should be covered by work zone one so that's remotely fine work zone two we're going to remove these from we need to put in some of this water treatment as well is there anything else we have left out no i don't think so so i think our work zones are all okay for now and we'll make sure that we have some allocated work zones like this just make sure it's as evenly spread as possible i think all of the shops are in work zone two so that shouldn't matter too much there we go cool that's looking great the weather is not however let us get to work then we are going to be changing the habitat for our african wild dogs so if we click on one of our wild dogs hello there but we're going to make sure the terrain and everything is a-okay so they like a lot of short grass so i'm going to make sure the whole habitat has that and then we can get some light soil and we'll put it at like a low intensity oh oh interesting i don't know if i want it that deep here 
yeah maybe that's nicer i mean i think that terrain is all right for them and they're happy with their hard shelters their coverage can go up a little bit which is brilliant so we can definitely get on that let's get some more of these lovely trees maybe some taller ones like that add a bit of height and level here and there and in general we can just get like some smaller trees that is looking good for the coverage and then things like these rocks i think i'm going to move around a little bit and then whilst we're here we might as well look at some enrichment for them as well just so they are all happy and good but before i do that i think i'm gonna wait until it's a little bit lighter and brighter because i can't see anything and i'm sure you guys can't either we have got some nice research done though which is brilliant let's have a look the puff adder that's nice and also some mechanical research which hopefully is on barriers okay cool that's good so we've maxed out a lot of our research the rest will be advanced so let's get the red rough lemurs some more research that might help as well rightio come on let's get lighter i want to see the habitat please there we go cool we can actually kind of see what we're doing which is helpful okay right let's have a bit of a muck around with this habitat and make it look a little bit nicer so i've done a little bit of moving around of things to make it look a little bit better and i think i'm a bit happier with the habitat and how it's looking so that's good i am gonna get more of these and in general let's just get them some more enrichment and i think that should be fine it's still looking a little bit gappy and stuff we will expand the more african wild dogs the more shelter we'll need and stuff like that so it'll take up a little bit of space but for their habitat i think this is looking pretty damn good i am liking it i'm liking it a lot let's get some more signs for them because i think they only have like one sign which is this one but for example we'll put another sign like over here maybe and we'll even put one around here although not a lot of people come around here so we might have to think about something to make sure they do and then we'll get some more educational speakers up in here we can put one over here i think and then we can do another one over here and then this one is gonna have to have a slightly smaller range but that's looking pretty good okay so that is looking all nice hopefully people enjoy the view of the wild dogs a little bit more hopefully these guys are happier in general let's click on one just to check you're too fast i can't even click on you where are you going come back dude dude i'm actually being like outrun by an african wild dog oh no he's going back the other way come back dude oh there we go i can click on him <laughs> well ali seems to be having the time of their life so that's always a good sign oh and underpriced tickets what a shame right let's pop those up right at the end of this episode we have some more research done which is brilliant it's all looking very good let's pop our tickets up to eight and nine pounds i think more mechanical research has been done which is also incredible <gasps> and our africa theme as well which is amazing let's have a little sneaky sneaky peek barriers have we got one my glass yet we've got concrete now which is interesting and we also have steel mesh let's quickly have a look at construction and we'll see what other themes <gasps> oh my god look at what we've got oh my goodness this is so freaking tempting. Okay, we probably are going to have a renovation episode coming up, which is basically kind of like a speed build version of like decorating the zoo. Maybe we will be doing that in future. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the advances we have made on our zoo. I hope you guys are liking this. I'm really getting into playing this zoo and this franchise series. I'm really, really liking it. But if you did like the video, do give it a thumbs up and let me know what other videos you would like to see on this channel. Also, feel free to subscribe to stay tuned for videos every Saturday. But that is pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.